If you've ever looked for a self-help book, you've probably come across Dr. Stephen Covey's bestseller, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Well, now his son, Sean, is expanding the brand again with The Seven Habits of Happy Kids. And Sean is with us this morning. Good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you? So these are basically the same seven principles that your dad applied so many years ago to adults, but you're adapting them for kids. Yeah, exactly. And my dad wrote that book many years ago, and then I wrote one called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens about 10 years ago. Now we're bringing it down one more level and this one is a, an illustrated picture book for little kids. Why did you decide to do that? Why adapt the adult book to the, to the kids book? Well, I think these principles are so powerful and um, you want to teach your kids these life skills and these character skills when they're young. So this is a fun way of doing that to bring these habits, make, make them come alive for kids. Because I know, I, I read that teachers were actually using your dad's book to try to teach little kids and it's boring if you just show them an adult book, but this way it's a story. Exactly. Each, each habit is a story. Yeah, the kids don't know they're learning anything. They're just, they're just uh, involved in a, in a great story. And at the end of the, each chapter in this book, we've got a little piece called Parents' Corner. Yes, I want to show it here. <laughs> and I notice that the font is smaller on the Parents' Corner than in the stories, because this is just for the parents. That's just for the parents. You don't want the kids to get involved in that. You want the kids to be locked into the story. So what's the yeah. Parents' Corner about? Yeah, the Parents' Corner is about uh, little things you can do to draw out the habit. Like the first habit is called Be Proactive. In the book, we call it You're in Charge. And it's about uh, a little squirrel named Sammy who has to learn to take responsibility for his life because he wakes up and he says, Mom, Dad, I'm so bored, and it's your fault. <laughs> right, right. And so they have to uh, teach him that you're in charge of having your own fun. You've got to take charge and not be a victim. And so at the end of the story, we have the Parents' Corner, little questions you can ask, things you can bring out to make the story come alive. And then I like baby steps, things that you can do. The next time you feel bored, do something nice for someone else, like Sammy did for Allie, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right. And yeah. it's important they learn it that young. How, how young? Well, this book is designed for three to nine-year-olds, and it's based upon eight adorable little characters. Like we've got a worm, we've got a little mouse named Tagalong Alley. Mm -hmm. A lot of these uh, characters are patterned after my own kids. You so have eight kids, don't you? I have eight kids, if that's you can believe a, it. That's amazing. <laughs> so you, right. this is firsthand experience that you're this speaking is from. right from the heart, right from the gut. Can we go over <laughs> the seven habits? Yeah, sure. These are the same seven habits my dad talks about, but we've uh, changed the names for the kids. So okay. habit one, you're in charge. Have a plan. Work first, then play. Everyone can win. Listen before you talk. Together is better, and then balance is best. And so these are all brought out in, in individual stories for each of the habits. Do you practice what you preach at home with your eight kids? You know, we try, but my kids are pretty normal like everybody else's. And, but I, I'm thinking if I can try to instill these powerful principles into my kids' heads when they're young, all the, all the better. Is there one that you find is toughest to teach, perhaps? You know, probably uh, the one I spoke about before, which is the idea of taking responsibility and not being a victim. And that's where the story came from, is one day my, my son Nathan woke up and said, Dad, I'm so bored. <sighs> Can you help me? Help me have fun. And then he went around looking for somebody to make him happy. And finally I just said, you know, Nathan, you're in charge of having your own fun. You make it happen. <laughs> and so I think teaching kids not to be victims, that they're in charge, they're responsible, is uh, probably the toughest thing. Well, it's, it's great, and I, I have a little girl three years old. So oh, terrific. Will you sign this one for her? Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Sean. Thank you. Sean Covey. If you'd like more about the book, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.